This is a short video to show you how to work through the checklist that will guide your activities throughout the term. These checklists are on D2L, so when you open up your D2L page, you'll see a, a tab at the top here that says checklist. When you click on that, you'll see the checklist for each chapter of the course. So this is the entire course all mapped out. When you click on one of these checklists, you'll open them and it'll look something like this and it'll tell you each activity. So for example, the first one here is looking at PowerPoint lecture slides. It will take you about 20 minutes. It will be due at 10 o'clock on Monday, September 21st. These PowerPoint lecture slides are all on D2L. So when you click on that, you'll open up these lecture slides. These slides come straight out of the textbook. I've just culled them for the things that I think are important and the things that you're going to need in order to complete the assignments on Mastering Physics. So you are supposed to read through these lecture slides and make just brief notes, just write down three basic concepts that you learned from reading through these PowerPoint lecture slides and you will write those concepts down in your notebook. Okay, then you go back to your checklist and you check off that you've done that. The next activity involves going to Mastering Physics. So there's a link here on Mastering Physics. And when you go to Mastering Physics it, and open up the Assignments tab, it should look something like this. Now, this is the faculty page. I'm not exactly sure how yours looks, but basically you will have a calendar. And on the calendar, it will tell you each assignment that is due. You'll notice that all assignments are due either on Mondays or on Thursdays throughout the whole term. You'll also notice that these assignments have different icons beside them. So if it's a little purple plus, that means the assignment is a video and concept assignment. So you'll be watching introductory videos published by the, the publisher. They're quite good, um, nice and short. And then you'll be asked to answer some concept questions. The assignments with the blue dot beside them, those are the bulk of the work assignments. So They'll take you quite a long time. This is where you're actually going to be cranking out numbers and working through physics problems. This you will be doing in your notebook. So although you'll be entering your answers in Mastering Physics, you'll be actually doing your calculations in your notebook. And then there are things called dynamic study modules. These modules are due all the time. I'm sorry, they're available all the time. And they are just to prep you for the quiz. And the quiz will happen at the end of every chapter and also at the end of every checklist will be a timed quiz on mastering physics. You'll have one hour to do it. It doesn't usually take a full hour. You can do it whenever you want, but it has to be finished by, for example, this one's finished by 1130 on October 8th. Okay, after you've done your mastering physics assignment, you go back to your checklist and you check off that you've done that. The next uh, activity is making up a detailed equation sheet. So up until now, you've only been really looking at and writing down concepts. Now you're ready to make an equation sheet. So uh, also on D2L, when you click on this link, you will be taken to the sheet of equations. So these are on D2L. And these come straight out of the textbook. However, they do not have all the definitions of the variables. So your job will be write that equation in your notebook and then define each letter. So you'll write W equals work in joules. You'll have to say what the unit is. F equals force in newtons. S equals displacement in meters and so on. So you'll be writing these out in your notebook and you'll be writing a description of every variable. And there's an example of how to do that. Um, on another tab on D2L when you go back to your checklist. So estimated that activity takes you about 30 minutes. Now you'll go back to Mastering Physics and you'll do the bulk of the physics problems. So notice how these first few activities didn't really take very long, 18 minutes for that one, 20 minutes for that one. Notice also how these all three of these are due on the same day. So you're going to start them not on Monday. You'll probably hopefully start them the previous Friday and you'll have all weekend to work through them. But they have to be finished by 10 o'clock Monday 
the equation sheet, you have an extra half an hour, so it's 10.30 on Monday. Now, once you finish that Monday night, then you've got Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday to work on this assignment, which is estimated to take one hour. Now, you, these are numbers that come from Mastering Physics. It may take you much longer than that, it may, may, may not. So you go back to Mastering Physics and you do that assignment. Now, once you finish that assignment, you have an assignment which is to take pictures of three pages of your notebook, showing all the work that you were doing while completing that assignment on Mastering Physics, and then convert them to a PDF using Cam Scanner or any other app that you want. And then you will submit them to D2L to the assignment that looks like this. The due date here is September 24th, 10.30. That's well, that's either a Monday or a Thursday, I'm not sure which. And then you'll attach your file and submit that here. Okay, and then you're back to your checklist. So you finish that, you finish that. And then this particular chapter doesn't have a dynamic study module, some do, some don't, but you will always have a timed quiz. And notice how you've got until 11.30 um, on this Monday to do that timed quiz. Okay, so those are the checklists. Uh, in Mastering Physics, you'll also notice you have a calendar. And on this calendar, it will tell you everything that's due and what time it's due. So here are your PowerPoint slides, here's your Mastering Physics and so on. Notice how other than the very first week, because you have that day one assignment, um, Everything is due either Monday or Thursday. So as you progress through the course, uh, there are all the assignments that are due Mondays and Thursdays. Also under the content tab, you'll notice that all of these resources are there. So if you ever wanna go back and look at the lecture point, the PowerPoint lecture slides, they're all here. If you ever wanna go back and look at the equation sheets, they're here. Your chapter checklists are also listed here. Oh, and I've also put here that may be interesting for you is uh, simulations, physics simulation websites. So they have some pretty cool things. Um, I will be making a few little videos talking you through some of those simulations, but that's also a very handy thing to have. And then there will be a tab YouTube videos, which will be short little videos of me doing specific little lecture topics. So if I think there's you know, a particular kind of problem or exercise that, that I think is worth mentioning that the textbook doesn't necessarily do a very good job of, then I'll make a little video of it. Okay, so that's it.